All right, now imagine you're getting a facelift while you're wide awake the entire time, and you're encouraged to snack during the procedure. Our cameras were rolling as the procedure was happening inside a local doctor's office. Aaron Guy explains how it works. They actually promote this procedure, saying you can eat a sandwich while getting a facelift, or in this case, read a magazine. So we wanted to know if it was really that easy, if it was really that comfortable, and did people really get the results? Make me look better, not different. That's always the goal with plastic surgery, but not always the results. Often you go under the knife and are put to sleep and then wake up looking like a different person. We make a hidden incision that starts here, comes down like so, and back up. Sometimes we'll also make another incision right under your chin. And I don't want to look different. I'm just hoping for a refreshed look, preserve what I have as I continue to age. Robin Berman wouldn't share her exact age, but she's in her 50s. She said it was time to do something more than her daily skin routine. My neck a little bit. Jawline a little bit. And that's why Dr. Fred Barr recommended a wake lift. Basically a procedure that we're able to do comfortably, safely in the office, minimal anxiety, high level of safety, still with some really great results. A wake lift because you're awake during the process. This is best if you don't want the anesthetic, you're younger and need a lift but don't need a total facelift, and if you want to be up and back to normal in less than a day. Nice deep breath in and out behind your ear. And as you can see, they numb her up and she's awake the entire time. It's like being at the dentist. We inject around the ear, we do our work, we do one side at a time, stop, take a little break, have some, something to eat, relax, do the other side, and they're done. She didn't want a snack, but instead, she looked at a magazine. To be having a surgery and, and, and reading a magazine and actually comprehending what I'm reading. Dr. Barr says his clients have been pleased. Check out some of these before and afters. The average patient doesn't swell much, doesn't bruise, and is back to normal the next day. Wow. What do you think? I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. Halfway through, Robin gets to see the results, and she likes what she sees. I can see the definite difference in the lot. It's huge, huge difference. So the big question, who is the best candidate? Well, they tell me someone who is between 30 and 55, someone who wants to focus really on the jowl and the upper part of the neck, or maybe you've had a facelift and you need a refresher, or you simply just don't want to have a full-blown procedure done and you don't want to go under the knife. Another big question, how much? Dr. Barr says it really depends on each patient, but he says it's roughly about $7,500. In the studio, Aaron Guy, WPBF 25 News. And you can read a magazine. Or have a sandwich. Or a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> or both. Is that included in the cost? Yeah. <laughs> sandwich is free. No, I'm no, sure they'll go. order whatever you want. <laughs> Mike's forecast is free too, but you won't want to buy it. You